we've recreated this design using all shapes on Canva and edit animation on it. Let's do this. Inspired by Illustrataria, she designs using an iPad and she created this lemon video that she created on an iPad. I wish everybody would get an iPad, but not everybody can afford an iPad. If you can, scroll down to the description below, find the Amazon link, and go grab yourself an iPad if you can. But the Procreate tool on an iPad using a pen is amazing. I'm creating this and I thought, can we do it on Canva? And I, I thought, okay, challenge accepted. This is what we're doing today. We are creating this lemon squeeze design using all shapes on Canva. Please join me. If you can go watch this Procreate video, it is awesome. She's absolutely amazing. Let's jump in on Canva and recreate it ourselves. So seriously, our superpowers when it comes to Canva. Let's start the design by creating a blank canvas, a video canvas, so that it helps us to animate a little bit later. Once you have it open, select the canvas and then pick a dark background that you want to use. I love this gradient background and you just pick on it and you add it like that. Then you're going to go to your elements and you're going to pick a circle. You could also press C for circle to add the shape to your design. Then you're going to go to your colors and then you change the first layer of your design to white. We're creating the, we're creating the top section of our lemon shape. Then we're gonna reduce the shape and rotate it and to create the first white half of our lemon. We're then gonna select it and we're gonna duplicate it to have the second part of our lemon. Then we highlight it and we go to our colors and then we look for the lemon color. And at the bottom there would be half lemons. You could pick that yellow and then add it behind this lemon of your white design. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send it to back. So you're gonna select it, go to your layers, and then send it to back. Then you're gonna adjust it on this layer so that it shows slightly. Next you're going to Pick any of these two and then duplicate the shape, preferably the lemony one, and then you send it to back so that it looks slightly bulky, and then you start making it into a shape like that. Next, you're gonna press C to add a circle. You go and you place it on the lemon top section so that it starts looking very aligned and together. So you place it like that and you drag it. Once you've adjusted, you align it and you send it to backwards so that it creates that kind of a design. And we're gonna go to our position and we're gonna look to duplicate this shape. Once you've selected it, you're gonna copy and you're going to paste it and you're going to adjust it at the other side of your design. Like that. Next, you're going to go back to your elements and you're going to search for a triangle this time. And you're going to create a top part of your lemon using the triangle shape. Rotate it. Place it on your lemon. We want to create the bump of a lemon. Then you're going to select your borders and you're going to make the corners rounded. Like that. Awesome. That takes care of the top section of our lemon. We're going to select everything. Group it. Duplicate it. Rotate it to create the bottom section of our lemon. The bottom section of the lemon, we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger and adjust it uh, so that it's just a little bit bigger than the, the top section. But that's pretty much what you are looking for with this design. 
so I'm going to select it, ungroup it, and then start adjusting it just slightly and make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to select the top, the pointy thingy magic, bring it to a little bit down, and then go to our layers and start adjusting them using the position. So we want that section. Like that, then you're going to select everything and group it so that you have your top section and your bottom section. We're now going to shade and put a shade to our lemon. We're going to go back to our elements and we're going to look for a brush stroke. Search for brush strokes on your graphics and then look for a light reddish shade that you could use to shade your lemon and create a nice looking element of it um when i was looking for this i found this brush stroke so let me go find this one it is called water stain color background once you've found it you're going to add it on your design and then you're going to reduce it we unfortunately cannot crop it. It's then it's at picking up the square shape. We, we can't have that. We need to reduce it. Start aligning it on your design, and we want the reddish color of this thing. And we're gonna go to edit our photo, and we go to filters. I like this capri, and then we duplicate this. And we start aligning it on this lemon and we start using the transparency of it applying it all across the lemon this little top section i want a whitish brush stroke so I'm going to look for a white one over there. Let's see if we can get color to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go to my duo tones. You like this one? No. Shadows white. Highlights white. Awesomeness. Like that. And we're going to do the same on our bottom lemon squeezy and create the same kind of a shade. It's time for us to create the inner section of our lemon. So what we're going to do is you're going to ungroup it and select the white section and duplicate that and so that you see what you're doing, go to your colors and go to your gradient colors. There's a beautiful orangey gradient -y color at the bottom. You can get to it. This one, select that and reduce the size of that section. Align it on the white section like that and then press l for lines and then create your line so that you leave it as a white line and the size make it like a four or five i'm happy with the six make the corners rounded then reduce that and go align it on your lemon and start dividing the lemon with the lemon section of a lemon. <laughs> I'm funny. I tell myself funny jokes. And the middle section, we're going to go back to our shapes and we're going to pick a cloud. 
and then add it on here as the middle section of our design so there's the cloud reduce the size of the cloud edit and then rotate it and align it on there and change the color and make it white and we're going to do the bottom section and group pick the white duplicate change that to that gradient orange color and then reduce it and add it on there and go to our shapes align one of the star shapes on there our next step is for us to create the seeds for our lemon so we're going to go to our elements and we're going to search for teardrop teardrop is the closest shape that we could use to create our beautiful seeds so we're going to try to find a rounded teardrop when you scroll down and find something very similar to what a seed would look like i like this one it's a teardrop icon by marco levolsky so you're going to click on it once and add it to your canvas in your design area and then you're going to reduce it to the size of a seed and then you're going to change color so teardrops are usually beige of color so let's see if we can find a nice natural beige color that we can use for our seeds something like that see if we can find brush strokes so that we can elevate the look of our and have a shade behind the teardrop as well as have some sort of shade on the actual teardrop itself and then make it darker so that it creates the shade of your eardrop so go to your duo tones and make find a darker color like that one maybe And that takes care of our seeds with their shades the last thing that we're going to do is to animate this lemon we're going to squeeze it out and have an animation so we're going to go back to our elements and we're going to grab this teardrop to squeeze the lemon out of the lemon so we're going to reduce the size of the teardrop and change the color to make it beige gonna have one and we're gonna have two and we're gonna have three your lemon drops lined up as one two three you're going to open your pages at the bottom of your screen so that you have your timeline open then you're going to duplicate your timeline so that you have a second page that looks exactly as your first page on your second page you're going to have a puddle of your lemon squeezed out so you're gonna go to your elements and you're gonna search for puddle and on your graphics pick a puddle that would represent a squeezed out lemon something like this oh unagi and we're gonna have the puddle at the bottom of the page and we're gonna change the color and make it the same color as a lemon squeezed out so let's change that and leave a little bit of white and duplicate that so you have another puddle on the left hand side on the right hand side rather and it looks like this then you're gonna go back to your first page and you're gonna start animating we're gonna select the object or the element and we're gonna click on animate and we're gonna select create an animation and this is going to allow us to drag the lemon squeezed out and then drop it to where the puddle is and then we have a nice beautiful animation so how you do that you just click on your element and you start dragging it it depends on how fast you want this to be so we're going to start dragging it have it drop and drop it to the puddle I ended up making all of my slides 1.4 seconds long 
and then removing all transition between the pages and it looks like this. Beautiful. If you enjoy these kinds of tutorials, you can go watch another one where we created a new animation using three AIs on Canva. Like and subscribe the video and let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed this and we should do more. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you on our next video.